you know, my first foray into peer-to-peer -peer applications was straight out of college. Um, and so what we think of as peer-to-peer -peer applications is not how I was thinking about it then. But uh, if you go to glassbead.com, you will see um, the first set of peer-to-peer -peer applications that I wrote in, the, in this company that I started with my college roommate um, called Glassbead Software. And the first one we wrote was this thing called Snapmail. And the idea was, well, in fact, actually what's hilarious about it is that the problem that we had was that I would walk to the to the laser printer in the Apple network and I would I would print something out and I would walk there and damn it, they had left um, they had left letterhead or they had an envelope in the paper tray. And so then I had to go and like take that out, put in a different piece of paper and come back to my desk and do it again. And so I wanted a little peer-to-peer -peer application that could say, I've put letterhead in the printer, don't use the printer. And so we created a, a, an application that would do that. And it would flash over the little Apple icon, a little thing that said, there's letterhead paper in the printer. <laughs> and yep. so it was peer-to-peer. -peer. The idea was that on your Apple network, you could just um, fire this application up. It would go find the addresses locally on the network and away it would go. And then we realized, oh, you know what? We can do full email on this stuff, but in the local area network peer-to-peer -peer, where you don't have to install any servers. Because at the time there was stuff that would do that. You know, this is back in 19, what, 90 or something like that, 1980, uh, 1991 or 92. And, um, and so there were, there were programs out there that you could do that, but you had to install a central server even on your local area network. And so this whole set of things that we did was decentralized. It would go and use, um, at the time there was a protocol called Apple Talk. And there was a, they had a really nice protocol for doing uh, peer discovery and we used that. And then over the years, we built this thing out and had a bunch of other solutions and it was all peer to peer for local area network stuff. So that's how I, my initial work in this back then and actually writing um, the code that would make that work was the first thing I did out of college. Super. Okay. So that sounds like really practical. 